Hello everyone, welcome to learn Cambodian with me again and welcome to learn Cambodian with my channel. I hope everyone is good and I'm good too. Okay, so a uh, long time no see because like a bit busy right now, but today uh, I have a new video for you. But in this video, uh, I'm going to answer some questions from six students. Uh, like, yeah, because like they asked me for a long time already, but I have no time to answer this question. Uh, so today I have, uh, I make this video to answer like uh, uh, some question from from six students. Okay, so I call them student. Wow. Okay, so uh, if you are ready, let's get started with me together. Okay, so now we can start with first question from David Wilson. Bah, David Wilson. David Wilson asked me how to use the word with and the word together in Cambodian language. Okay, he asked me like uh, whether it's used in the same way or not. But actually, with and together we use differently and also uh, different meaning in Cambodian language. It's the same as in English when you use with. And then uh, some sentence you use together. Okay, so right now I will uh, tell you how to use this and with example as well. Okay, so here is the word with. Chia mui. Ba chia mui. And for the word together, you say chia mui knia. Ba chia mui knia. And if you ask me what is the word knia, knia it means like each other. But so together you can say with each other. But okay, so now I have like few examples for you to compare. Okay, for this. Okay, so uh, this is the example of with. So for example, you say I live with my friend. But I live with my friend. Khnom ruh nau chi mui pu ma khnom. Khnom ruh nau chi mui so it means to live and chia mui is with pua ma is friend and pua ma khnyom is my friend ba again khnyom ruh nau chia mui pua ma khnyom ba an example i use the same uh, sentence but i change some word and i will use the word together like you see here okay uh, previous example you say i live with my friend and right now I change. I say I and my friend live together. But I and my friend live together. So in Khmer also you have to change. In Khmer you will say Khnom nang pua ma Khnom ruh nau chia mui khnia. Khnom nang pua ma Khnom ruh nau chia mui khnia. Okay, so you see, and in case you use the word together, so you have to change. It's the same as using in English. Okay, but okay, I have uh, two more examples for you. Okay, here is, can I go with you? Ba, can I go with you? 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 Ba, so that is a go. Act is can. Ba, act is can. And okay, bante is a question word of can when you make a question. Ba. Okay, one more time. Knyom act bante. And now I use the word together and then change something. Can we go together? Ba, can we go together? In Khmer you say, Yung act bante. Yung ag tau chia mui khnia ban te Ba, so yung mean we Ba, we, okay Okay, one more time Yung ag tau chia mui khnia ban te Ba, okay, so this is how to use uh, With and the word together in Cambodian language Okay, I hope you understand clearly How to use uh, with and together in Cambodian language Ba Okay, so right now go to question number two. Question number two from Rachel Ho. Well, Rachel Ho asked uh, me how to say K 
clean the floor in uh, Cambodian language. Ba clean the floor in Cambodian language. Uh, actually, for the word clean, uh, it might be say some app. Ba some app. And in case, uh, sometimes you use the word to wash. If you use the word to wash, you say lien. Ba lien. And to clean, you say some app. Ba. And in case you say clean as a verb, but to clean something. But in case you use clean as an adjective, like for example, you say, this room is clean, this floor is clean. So in this case, clean, you, you cannot say some app. You have to say app. But app. And when you hear this word, uh, maybe you think about the word beautiful, the word pretty. Yeah, sure, it's the same. So when clean used as an adjective, you can use uh, as beautiful or pretty. Then in Khmer you say sad, And for the word floor, ba for the word floor, uh, actually for the word floor you can say, for example you say one floor, two floors, second floor, first floor, ba. So in that case we say chuan. When you say first floor, second floor, right? Okay, in the word floor we say chuan, chuan. But for Cambodian people, when they would like to say clean the floor, we never say chuan for the word floor in this case. But, so we have another word to say, like uh, we like to say, uh, we use the word brick instead of floor. But we use the word brick instead of floor. And the word brick in Khmer, we say at, at, eh? brick. So clean the floor, you can say chun at. But, when you have like mop and then you clean the floor, you can say chun at ba chun at. And another word for uh, in this case as well, you can use the word tile. Tile like uh, like you put on the foot, yeah, like what smooth tile ba. Uh, and in Khmer we say caro, but actually I uh, I know this word is not Khmer word, it's French. If you know French, you will uh, you will know this word. We say caro, ba for tile caro. So when you say clean the floor, you have two options to say. You can say some at at or some at caro, right? Some at at or some at caro. You cannot say some at join as it tell you. Join as it tell uh, a uh, join you can use with one floor, two floors, many floors, and uh, another one like first floor, second floor. You say join, but in this case you use brick or tile instead. Okay, so right now go to uh, next question, but question number three. Question number three is from uh, Michael Kingsley. But, um, okay, I call Michael Kingsley, but uh, I'm sorry if it's not correct, but Michael Kingsley. But Michael Kingsley asked me about punctuation in Cambodian language. But punctuation in Cambodian language. And the punctuation uh, he asked me is Trei Sap. But uh, like student who learn Cambodian alphabet, you will know about the name of this punctuation. We call Trei Sap. But so he asked how he, he asked how to use this punctuation. Okay, so let me tell you about this. For this punctuation Trei Sap in Cambodian language or in Khmer alphabet, we use this punctuation to change consonants from series one to consonant in series two. So I can say from some or to some er, but from some or to some er. If you if you look at uh, Khmer consonant, there are thirty three consonant. Okay, some consonant they have some or and some er already. Like for example, you say, ko ke, you see, ko ke, ko ke, eh? but, and but some consonant have only one, like so, but no sir, right, so, no sir, bo, no ber, but you can change that sound by placing this punctuation on that consonant. For example, you write bo, Okay, you read ball, and then when you place this punctuation on ball, so you change its sound. So you will say b, b, yeah? Okay, and also like uh, dependent vowel who uh, that accompany with this consonant have to change as well. For example, 
uh, without punctuation uh, trace up with consonant mo with vowel o you read mo okay mo and after that when you place punctuation uh, uh, trace up on mo so sound will be changed to b so dependent vowel o have to change also they ch it's changed to u so you will read bu okay first mo after you place punctuation it say bu uh, bo bu so this is how to use punctuation sub uh, punctuation trace sub in my alphabet okay just change from uh, sound o to sound e uh. okay so yeah i hope michael kingsley you understand okay, how to use this punctuation in my alphabet Okay, right now go to next question. Bah. So question number four from BT. Bah. Okay, just show me BT. So BT asked me bah, uh, the, the, the different pronunciation between the word salt and number seven. Salt and number seven. But actually in Khmer language, we have one more word that sound very similar to two of these as well. Okay, and that word is tamarind. Okay, tamarind, just uh, like fruit. Uh, you can call fruit, right? Tamarind, but fruit. So tamarind. So now I add one more for you. So uh, for your question, now you have three. The different pronunciation between salt, number seven, and tamarind. Okay, wow. So with these three words, like sound very similar. So now let me tell you first. Uh, from the word salt, but salt. Salt in Khmer you say umbal. Umbal. So you hear my pronunciation clearly, okay? Umbal. But with letter B, na? second syllable I read with letter B. Umbal. And umbal. But in spoken, as you know, Khmer language, uh, like in spoken, like mostly like different from written. So for salt in written you read uh, you write umbal uh, very clear umbal but in spoken umbal you see the way we read the word salt in spoken umbal umbal yeah okay but this is the word salt for number seven okay now I I I will not uh, say the word number because number you say late but I need just different late. And now I say only seven, bar seven, seven. Uh, yeah, but you know number already, okay. And I have a video about number also, so you can uh, look at my old video, but about number. So for seven, in written, we write pram p, pram p. So you see, sound like not b, nah, but I say sound b p. There, let I read po, sound po, nah. So seven, I say pram p. From P, like the word, like number two, you say P, eh? P, okay, from P in written. And also, you know, in spoken, we don't really use from P. We say from P, from P. And if you think about the word salt, P, you see, I use letter B. But number seven, I say from P, from P, eh? P, sound P. And also from per, yeah, another one option and another option I can say per, per. Eh? I don't read from, but I change per. Okay, this is also seven. Eh? Okay, so one more time for seven written from p, from p spoken. You have two option from per, from per, or per. Mpel. Okay, I need seven. Okay, I hope you can hear me clearly <laughs> about this pronunciation. And the last one, the word for tamarind. Tamarind. In Khmer. Okay, look at my mouth and listen my pronunciation. <laughs> okay, so for tamarind. Ampel. Yeah. Ampel. It's very similar to salt. Salt, umbel, 
อัมเปิลแทมารินอัมเปิลอัมเปิลรีเทนแอนด์ออโซยูแคนยูสดิสเวอร์อินสโปเกนโซอินสโปเกนยูเซอัมเปิลโซเดเซมเอสเซเว่นอินสโปเกนอัมเปิลออโซโซอัมเปิลไอแคนเซย์ฟอร์เซเว่นแอนด์ออโซฟอร์แทมารินนะฟอร์แทมารินโอเค So I hope you can. Uh, this thing is the pronunciation of this. Okay. Okay. So not finished yet. Let me read all of this for you one more time. Okay. First is sword. Ambal. Ambal. Seven. I read all for you. Prampi. Prampi. Prampal. Prampal. Ambal. Okay. And tamarind. Ampel. 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 Okay. So very complicated and very confused with this. <laughs> okay. So I hope everyone understand clearly about the different pronunciation with these three words. Okay. Okay, so now let's go to next question. But question number five. But question number five from Kung Tia. But Kung Tia. Kung Tia is my name, so I I think like uh, she is my uh, people, maybe who live in uh, other countries. But because like her name is Kung Tia, but so Kung Tia just my name and female as well. But so question from Kung Tia. Okay, she asked me like uh, her parents always say this word, jump, jump. Okay, like uh, when they feel like a bit shocked or a bit surprised. Okay, it might be polite to say jump, jump. Okay, yeah, need one. And also he asked me, uh, uh, she asked me about this word as well. He say, what, what. Okay, so what. Okay, this is a word like the Khmer people use a lot as well when they like, feel shocked, surprised. Okay, and uh, she asked me like, what is the, the the meaning of this word? Right. Okay, before I tell you with uh, this word, okay, let me tell you with this, uh, with the word walk a bit. Okay, so walk it means die. Walk. Right? For the word die, uh, in Khmer we have like many words to say for this. Uh, we have okay. First, you say walk. Walk. Yeah, you can use this with uh, people or any uh, people, but uh, I recommend you not to use this because it's not polite. It's a bit rude. When you say when you see people die, and then you say walk. Okay, Ali. Yeah, with your family, with your close friend, you can use. But uh, like if like uh, people around you hear uh, heard this word from you, like uh, they look at you and they say you are a bit rude, but. So I recommend you not to use "walk" in case you see like someone die. Okay, and and "walk" we use like with animals, but nah, we use with animals. Walk, but and for the word "die," okay, it might be have another word. Uh, like you can say "slap." Uh, you can say oh many words, like nah, many words. Okay, so let me tell you with the word "walk" in this case, and like people always use, but. Mop, mop. So mop when my people say mop, okay, compared to the word in English, it's the same as. But I'm not sure it's one hundred percent correct. But uh, I think mostly, mostly it's similar to this word. I mean, uh, oh my god. Like when when you feel like, when you feel like surprise or shock, or when you see something and then you like oh my god, okay, oh my god. But so in my okay, you can use the mop. Walk, nah, okay, but I need, but so I can say uh, this word is the same as oh my god in English language, but walk. And another one that like her parents say, jump, jump, but so this word it mean like a bit, yeah. Uh, in my oh, I can say if you compare uh, this word into uh, in English word it mean fuck. Okay, fuck. Okay, so what the fuck? Ah, uh, so in Khmer we use the word chom. Ah, na chom, fuck. Okay, na. Ah, so, ah, uh, so, I think easy to understand. 
when you would like to say out of the front or front in English, okay, when you feel a bit shocked or surprised, okay, in point you can say this, jump, jump, okay, but, and uh, again, oh my god, oh my god, okay, say, oh, what, what, and okay, I need, I get the, uh, how to use this word in Cambodian language. Okay, so uh, okay, I hope you understand clearly what your parents always say this word. Okay, and the last question is question number six. But so question number six from uh, Jeffrey Dean. But from Jeffrey Dean. Okay, Jeffrey Dean asked me like four words in my language. And this one is about like activity or just a word that I can say uh, in English you use the same word, but in Khmer you use different word and use different like situation. Okay, and four word like that he asked me is Chu Chu Gao Han and Jin Jaram. Chu Gao Han and Jin Jaram. This word because chu and gao in English you use one word, the same word is scrap, but scrap chu gao. But in Khmer, we use different word and like use like in different situation as well. But chu and gao. A bit more, I will uh, show the video that uh, the difference between chu and gao for you. But. And two more words is han. Han it means like to chop, but to chop. Actually, for the word chop in Khmer, we have like a, a, a more meaning. And han it means like when you cut something like in small piece. Especially we use this word with uh, beef, with meat, uh, and uh, with vegetables. For example, you chop beef like this. Okay, a bit more. I will show you uh, like uh, about the video with this as well. But so when you, you cut something in small piece, especially we use with meat and vegetable, we say han, but not han, but to chop. But. And chen chan is it, but chen chan it means to mince. For example, you mince pork, like ch -ch -ch -ch, you, you use a big knife and then you mince pork like this. But and we say chen chan, but chen chan. And all of this, okay, I, all of this, I, I, I have a video for you, and then you will see the difference between using this word. Okay, so right now, let's see video about this word together. Okay, that's all for this video and I hope everyone understand clearly about this question. Uh, even if it's not your question, but uh, other students can learn from this as well. But, and I hope this lesson is useful for everyone. But, and if you still have like some question or not clear with some point, just let me know in the comment section. And then if when I have time, and then I will make a video to answer your question like this. Okay, uh, finally, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.